Hi, Jefferson Santos here, seven-figure entrepreneur, author of the book, Higher Life Design. And today, I wanna to talk to you about something that's literally impacted me and affected me for many, many years, many, many years. And what that is, is in my head, when I wasn't winning as much as other people, or you know, whether it was a sports contest or bingo or whatever it was, in my head, my reality was, man, how come that person's always winning and I'm not? How come these people over here are always winning and I'm not? How come that team always wins and my team doesn't? And, and that was something that I struggled with for a lot. And I think at some levels, a lot of us do, where you know maybe our business or our career or something's not going right and we're seeing somebody else on Facebook which is everybody else's highlight reel, right? We're seeing what they're doing and we're like, we're kind of envious, right? We're like, well, wow, man, they're doing good and they're doing good and how come I'm doing crappy, you know? And I think that's a trap. That's a major, major trap because you know what? Good things are happening to us, but we have to focus on those good things. And so we all have a gift. And I heard, you know, T.D. Jake said this one time. He's like, you gotta make your misery, you gotta make a ministry out of your misery. You know, what is something that bothers you so much that can actually be like your ministry, that your message, right? For example, let's say you have the gift of administration. You know, you're, you're reading through somebody's paper and you see all the punctuations and, and you mark it all up. And so you have this gift of administration and you can see exactly where they mistake and you, and you corrected it and show them maybe something they didn't see. Or maybe you have a really good, you know, you can notice the, the tone of music and you're like, oh, you're out of tune over here. And so you've got that gift where you could show, you can, you can remind people that they're out of tune and help correct them, okay? Maybe you're the type of person that's really, really, really patient. And you can actually sit there and listen to people, which is actually listening is like a lost art these days. Um, we all have gifts. The question is, what gift do you have that maybe you're not letting the world know about? And what gift do you have that you're not really exercising? Because we all know that if you don't use it, you lose it. And I think that a lot, a lot of the reasons why I was uh, kind of in a little mini depression or kind of focused or in my little pity party is because I wasn't focusing on my gift or what I could do. And I think one of my gifts was being able to um, learn something and teach it. I love to teach. I love to do that. And um, I remember that, you know, when I see people uh, uh, present something, uh, you know, maybe people in my business or whatever, I like to be able to encourage them and show them how else they could present it too, which they, certain, certain things they didn't even see that they could even present it in a certain way. And that's, I guess, my gift of seeing the way how messaging is created or how communication or how I'm supposed to communicate a message. And so that, and that's just me, but we all have gifts. And, and once again, my, I'm back to you about the question is what gifts do you have? Because we all have gifts. And you might be sitting there right now going, Jefferson, I don't have any gifts right now. Because you're probably focused on you not having gifts. That's the problem, and that's what my problem was. And so what I want you to do in my, the homework, this next little assignment for you when this video's over, is I want you to sit there for a few minutes and, and start writing down all the things you're good at. Even if they're simple, because even though if you think they're simple for you, they could be very difficult for somebody else. You know, for, for an example, my wife, she's a beautiful singer, and she's a great songwriter. You put me in a room for three million days, I might not be able to crank out one song. I don't know. She's, she's just gifted that way. That's what she's good at. So you know you're good at something, you just have to figure it out. And you might have to ask some of your friends or family to ask them, hey, what am I good at? And I think it's really going to encourage you when you find out what that is and just fuel that flame that you already have. You just might not be focusing on it right now. So don't focus on what other people are doing. Don't run their race, run your race because you do have a gift. So with that said, look forward to seeing you on the next video and helping you arrive at your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.